but as she peered into my eyes and asked the next question, well, it's hard to explain, but it felt like she was peering into my soul, almost like she already knew exactly why I was crying. Are you sure, honey? My name is Janet. And it was at that moment that I noticed her necklace glinting in the sunlight. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I looked back up at her, my eyes as big as saucers, and completely spilled my guts, told her about my journey, how thrilled I was when I got into Harvard, and how soul-crushing it felt, trying to come up with the tuition money and coming up empty-handed, and with only a short time left until my first semester was due to start. After I'd spilled my guts to Janet, I felt a bit lighter. It's hard to explain just how relieving it felt to get it off my chest. It felt so amazing, like I just liberated myself from a heavy burden. Maybe it was because this woman was actually listening and really seemed to care. And as great as that felt, it pales in comparison to what was to come. Because what happened next is where the story really gets crazy. After telling Janet my whole story, she smiled and asked if I could answer a few questions for her. She said she might be able to help me. I had nothing to lose, and she seemed friendly enough, so I figured, why not? And after five minutes of seemingly random questions about myself, Janet told me she knew why I wasn't able to come up with the money I needed. 